Libra and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay, your intuitive reader. I am here with your general mid-month reading from August 15th through the 31st. Again, this is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you all in advance for your likes, shares, subscribes, and your comments. If you would like to book a personal reading, please check the description box below, shoot me an email, and I'd be happy to connect with you. Okay, so Libra, in connecting to your energy for um, the time frame of August 15th through the 31st, I feel like Spirit is telling me patience is virtue. So take it however it, it resonates for you. And again, this is general. It may not apply to every single Libra out there, but the parts that do, you can apply it to your love, your love life, your relationships, career finances, personal or spiritual aspects of your life. Make it fit how it fits. Okay, Libra. I'm also feeling like I've had a vision of you guys like taking something away. I can see like a sword stuck in the ground. It, it kind of reminds me of like um, the seven of swords. It's like swords in the ground and you taking away something. You're taking something away from someone or, um, you know, again, that can apply to your relationship. Maybe you're wanting to leave or you're taking something away, something, setting some boundaries or something with someone, but I see you've taken something away. I can also see some of you, I know some of you Libras out there can be a little spicy. <laughs> That's why in the tarot, there's a sword because some of you are just kind of like, um, cutting through stuff, being very sharp with your tongue. I'm feeling like that is happening. And I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you Libras feeling overwhelmed about something, okay? So we are gonna hop right in. I'm gonna shuffle my cards and see what is going on for my be beautiful Libras out there for the month of August, okay? Libra, sun, moon, and rising for the month of August, 15th through the 31st. Hopefully that's not too loud. I don't really care for shuffling on camera, but I've been shuffling on camera lately. But I've already pre-shuffled, just giving them a little bit more of a shuffle to get us started. All right. Yeah, that overwhelming feeling, that spicy cutting through things, setting boundaries, I feel like is uh, really prevalent for you right now, Libra. Okay. Spirit is asking me to shuffle again. <laughs> so I'm just going to do one more time. And then it doesn't want to shuffle. Okay. <laughs> Libra, some of you might be all over the place right now. I'm just picking up that energy. Okay. All right, Libra. Overall energy for you. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, but this is the overall energy. It's about reciprocity, equal give and exchange. And I know for you, this actually makes sense because I feel like this is you as well, right? I'm looking at this balance scale, okay? The balancing scale here is, is you, okay? That is your zodiac sign. I feel like some of you are trying to find balance. Some of you are trying to find peace within a relationship, within a career. Some of you may be taking some things away, things that you were normally doing in a relationship that you no longer want to do anymore. Maybe you're feeling like you're just kind of tired and burdened and maybe it isn't appreciated. So maybe some of you are walking away or taking away something um, from a partner. Maybe some of you are giving more, okay? With this energy of giving. You see how he's giving the coins? This could be um, this could be an offer, or this could be a situation at work where maybe you're given a little bit more energy, or maybe you're not putting in as much energy. Or this can apply to a relationship. Maybe you're giving more than um, maybe you're giving more than you can give, or maybe you're not getting enough in return. Okay, so it's about reciprocity that's happening for you in the month of August, for the mid month to the end of August. So let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Because that balance is is definitely there. Um, trying to find that balance is is a energy that we're working with for you this month. Okay. All right. I have pulling pinnacles, huh? I have the seven of pinnacles here, the eight of pinnacles here for you. I have the queen of pentacles. Jeez, you would think that we're doing this. <laughs> 
a <laughs> reading for an earth sign here, Libra, okay? So maybe some of you might have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn very strong in your chart, or maybe you, some of you might be dealing with someone. So this is definitely your energy here, Queen of Swords, definitely connected to it. A, a Libra energy could also be connected to a Gemini or, a, or an Aquarius, okay? But that is definitely your energy there, okay, Libra? So I'm feeling like... Some of you are working very hard, very diligently, okay? And again, you can apply this to love or career, but some of you are working very diligently at something. I feel like they ha there has been, um, I feel like you have many accolades or have experienced success or um, have, have mastered some sort of trait or some sort of trade. And some of you are so focused that Maybe you're not seeing the big picture of things. I feel like with this with this pentacle here, like something is being left behind or you're waiting to work at you're waiting to work on something. Maybe this is something that you have on the back burner and you're so focused on this here. So for some of you, maybe you're wanting to become an entrepreneur. You have a, an idea for a business venture or a project that you want to get started or try to find an investor in. You wanna create abundance for yourself. You wanna create balance. But some of you are having to work and focus your energy on work and it's kind of taken away the energy of really creating what you wanna create for yourself and for your family, okay? So I feel like some of you are working hard and not able to invest the, ener the time and the energy on, on what it is that you're wanting to create because you're kind of focused here in survival mode, okay? This is why I'm feeling too, for some of you, that overwhelming feeling, because maybe you're having overwhelming feelings of really, um, overwhelming feelings and nudges of really wanting to get this entrepreneurial um, project off the ground, but you don't have the time, the energy, or the financial means to do so because you're just so focused on working, okay? You're trying to just make that bread just to survive but you have this idea kind of in your back pocket that you can't that you can't focus on right now because it's all about just making money and paying the bills so i feel like for some of you you might just be in survival mode right now okay but really wanting to step out and become an entrepreneur in whatever field they may that may be but that feels like a very strong um potential for some of you out there and again it won't apply to all of you libras out there and then i have the queen of pentacles okay this could, could be connected again to a taurus virgo or capricorn energy i feel like this is someone who is you know very practical someone who is goal oriented very caring very loving also very giving um, someone who wants to share their knowledge who wants to share their ideas about how to reach the status that she's in. So I feel like with this energy of the Eight of Pentacles, for some of you that do have the means, the time and the energy to begin now focusing your energy on your your project or your business venture, this becomes, this, this is your energy of the Queen of Pentacles now being able to invest in your idea, okay? The ideas are flowing, the creativity is flowing, the investments are there. It's almost like things are aligning, okay, for you. Because yeah, that feels that feels very, very strong for some of you as well. So you can be on either end of the spectrum, Libra Libra. Work one of you, you know, some of you may be working hard trying to, you know get the money so that you can begin this business venture. And some of you may be on the other spectrum where you've worked hard already and now you're moving up to the queen status, then now you're becoming um, an investor. You're now investing in ideas and other people. Maybe you're like a mentor or maybe someone's a mentor to you. I feel this energy from this queen of pentacles of someone being a mentor that stepping in helping you with your um, with your business venture or your project. It doesn't, I don't think it's a partnership, but I just feel like more of um, a mentor, mentee sort of relationship. And then the queen of swords. So now this is our second queen here, okay? We have three pinnacles, 
and a queen. So this is your energy, Libra. I feel like you're now setting clear boundaries, have a clear direction in where you're going and what you're doing, and things are feeling good. You're very straight to the point. I also feel it for some of you, okay, who have reached this status of now you, you, um, you now have the knowledge and the wisdom of starting a business and having a successful business, that now you're able to delegate tasks because maybe you're like, I'm picking up like a CEO energy from this Queen of Swords, someone like a boss, okay? A boss is, is what I'm picking up. So I feel like some of you are now setting boundaries, getting the help that you need, that you can kind of sit back on your throne and allow the money to come in. You're making money while you sleep because maybe some of you now have like a staff, you know, <clears throat> so to speak. But again, you can now apply this to your love or your career relationships. Let's clarify these cards for you, Libra. Sorry, I'm having, my throat is a little, it's been a little wacky since yesterday doing all the readings. All right, Libra, what do we have for you? Let's clarify these cards for you. I hope you're all having a great month so far, Libra. I hope it isn't, the whole month isn't overwhelming for you. And I hope you're not being spicy and sassy all month, having to pull out your your uh, <laughs> your swords with your sharp tongue this month. Um, but I get it. It's, it's fiery Leo season, so it's very possible. All right, let's get into this. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for August 15th through the 31st? Let's pull up two cards here. We have the King of Cups in reverse. And we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I feel like with this King of Cups in reverse here, for that group of you that's working so hard, I feel like you haven't, there's a part of you that hasn't really, maybe you're feeling uh, a little bit emotionally unstable because you really want, your, your energy is wanting to be focused on starting this new project or starting a new relationship, but you're kind of stuck focusing on this and I feel like it's it might be leaving you a bit emotionally unstable. For some of you, this could be a cancer energy, okay, here. This could be a cancer energy that some of you might be dealing with, whether it be a boss or you in a relationship. But I feel in, I'm feeling like this unstable because you're this unstable energy because you're not it's like you're not getting what you what you're wanting from this person. And maybe maybe this person is asking for a lot and you just don't have the time and energy to invest in it. Okay, and then I have the Knight of Swords that came out in reverse, and this could be again, this could this could be your energy, Libra. Okay, your your energy could be Gemini, it could be Aquarius, but I'm feeling like there's um, I keep hearing like a, an attack on your character. So whether this is in a relationship or a career, like I feel like again. It's like you're like you're not doing enough and maybe it looks like you're not doing enough, but maybe you feel like you're doing a lot and putting a lot of energy into something, but it just isn't enough for the other person. Because I feel like this person could be combative in a way, or this could be your energy of being combative of, you know, really saying to someone like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and there's nothing more else that I can do for you or for this situation or for this relationship or for this business or whatever it may be. I feel like there's like a combative energy which causes you to be unstable. So the, the, the instability creates the combativeness. So I feel like some of you are experiencing that energy because you are working hard at something, but I feel like there's, I'm picking up like a frustration that that could also be playing a role in that feeling of overwhelming that overwhelming feeling that i that i picked up on for for you in this month of just being frustrated of this is all that i can do i can't do any more i don't know what else to do and i don't want to be here shit that's kind of like the energy like especially for those of you that are in the job that you really don't want to be in you're just going because you got to make the money 
I feel like that's just like, I really don't want to be here anyway, making money for you. I'd rather be doing this for myself. So that energy is there. All right. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Libra? Queen of Pentacles. And again, with that, what I was just saying, remember our overall energy is, you know, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles here. And it's really about, you know, you're trying to find a balance between everything that you're doing, but it's like you're, you're running out of energy. You're running out of time. One card, please. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? All right, so I pulled the Empress. And I also pulled the Five of Coins. So some of you are feeling burdened. You're feeling tired. You're just like, I'm trying to figure out why we're pull pulling all these Pentacles. Some of you might have some, uh, some strong Earth energy in your chart. And that's probably why some of you are having an issue. Because when I think of Earth signs, I think of them being grounded. And I also think of them being like, sort of a, like a provider in the way like they're they're like going after they're very ambitious they're going after what they're want they're wanting they're about creating material wealth and having material things and you know traveling the world they're all about you know really connecting in the earth so I feel like some of you might have a strong earth connection in your natal chart because we keep pulling these pinnacles okay so I feel like again with this um well, I was going to say with this five of coins, again, that burden energy, that's just like, um, that I keep getting from this card, like I fucked up <laughs> and maybe you just didn't, maybe you just couldn't meet the standards of someone else, a relationship, a partner or a partnership in business or your employee, your employer. Maybe you just couldn't meet their standards and you're just like, I am tired of fighting I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of going against this. Like, spirit, help me. Show me the direction. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to be doing? Some of you actually know what you're supposed to be doing. But again, you're about getting the money. And right now, it's also exhausting you because you're working for, those of you that want to be an entrepreneur, you're working for someone else. And it's just like, it's just not sitting right with your spirit. And I feel like with this Empress card here, it's like she knows she knows she's a very intuitive, a very intuitive person. This, this brings intuitive messages. So I feel like you're getting intuitive nudges about what direction, which direction to move in. And I'm feeling like some of you are fearful because you just don't want to leave a job. You don't want to leave a job without a plan, especially for, for those of you that are, ha that have a very, um, strong earth, um, earth signs in your natal chart. And I know for you, Libra, it's about finding the balance. And you're also very analytical and logical. So you're trying to weigh out the pros and cons of things before you make a move. But I feel like you're getting you're getting these intuitive nudges that, you know, this isn't for you. But I'm also feeling like this. Look at this. The Queen of Pentacles. The Empress is clarifying this Queen of Pentacles here. And look how they're just both sitting on their throne. I feel like this is a balance and alignment between material and spiritual wealth here, okay? Abundance, fluidity. I feel like that energy is here. So some of you that are in this boss mode already are experiencing that, but maybe some of you are still feeling exhausted because maybe the maybe the responsibility is overwhelming for some of you. Let's move into the next card, the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Libra? I feel like I'm picking up like you guys inviting someone in to an energy of bringing someone in. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Libra? We'll see if that Eight of Wands wants to come back out again. Okay. All right. Am I going to take both of these? No, I'm not going to take them. I'm going to take one of these. All right. So, yeah, this is definitely your energy, Libra. I have the Two of Swords clarifying the Queen of Swords, and I also have the Ten of Swords. Okay? So, this is about 
for those of you that are trying to make decisions about something or for those of you that are sitting in this position of the queen that are you know setting the clear boundaries that may be feeling very sharp with your tongue right now or um maybe inviting something it's something or someone into your space but i feel like having that clear direction some of you might not be seeing clear i don't know there's this two of swords here that's again look how she's covering her face as if she's kind of moving blindly i feel like libra some of you are like moving forward but moving forward blindly you're just kind of <laughs> Kind of going with, I don't even know of going with the flow because I always feel like being in the flow, you're kind of spiritually guided there. But I feel like this is just like moving, moving blindly. Why do I keep feeling moving blindly? Moving blindly. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to clarify that one for you. And then I have this 10 of swords here for you. Okay, so I feel like there's some backstabbing, some betrayal going on, maybe some pain happening for some of you. I feel like with this being in this position of this Queen of Swords, right, setting boundaries, maybe you're going back and forth. Maybe there's some combativeness going on um, between you and someone else. Maybe it ends in, you know, in pain, in emotional pain, maybe for some of you in physical pain. But I feel like, too, with this 10, the 10 breaking down to a one in numerology, that is a rebirth. So I feel like what, if you're experiencing this kind of energy of pain and confusion and lack of direction and feeling blinded, moving blindly, that this is coming to an end for you and there's a new, there's a new energy coming in for you. I just want to clarify this two of swords for you, Libra. Why is this two of swords here for Libra? Okay, the Eight of Cups. So <clears throat> some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio energy, but I feel like there's an energy of walking away from something. Some of you are, um, some of you are <laughs> maybe maybe blindly in love and knowing that you need to leave this behind, but I feel like there could be like um, some you know some secrets that may have come out and now it's just time for you to walk away from a relationship and again this can apply to if you're walking away from a job or a partnership or in a relationship some of you could be walking away from that as well let's get some advice for you what advice do you have for libra august 15th through the 31st spirit please and thank you give us clear guidance what advice do you have for libra yep the eight of wands wanted to come back out one more card please so I feel like for some of you, I, okay, I have the Eight of Wands, I have the Knight of Pentacles, again, the Pentacles, right? And I also have the, um, the Nine of Wands. Some of you are tired and some of you, it's time to walk away fast from something, okay? Whether it's a relationship or a career or jobs, it's time to walk away fast because it's causing some... I'm feeling like you're exerting energy that you shouldn't even be exerting. And this should be like how I'm seeing this. I'm sorry. This is how I'm seeing this. Okay. Someone could be quickly coming in or walking away from something. Okay. Because they're tired. Okay. This, this energy of exhaustion of like battling, having to go back and forth. You're just kind of over it. Now it's about weighing your options out again with this six of pentacles as your overall energy is about weighing out your options now it's not even about do i stay or do i go it feels like this energy is it's time for you to move on those of you that are thinking about begin again becoming an entrepreneur or maybe stepping into another job it's time for you to go that the advice is make the move okay make the transition it can be an exhausting time it could be a time of loss um but that comes with the territory it isn't easy being an entrepreneur but if you say yes to the process there are going to be times where, you know, things are going to be great and there are going to be times where business is going to be dry. So keep that in mind. If you're that person that you have to have money all the time and you cannot live a simple life, then maybe entrepreneurship isn't for you at the beginning because it takes time to build. But it feels like it's time to make a decision or maybe some communication is coming in for you real fast. Maybe for some some of you, they might be fired. You might be fired. 
or some of you might be quitting a job and really moving on, but I feel like you're applying your skills and it's going to take some time, okay? It's gonna take some longevity, okay? Not me, I don't wanna say longevity because I don't want you to think it's gonna take forever for your for your business to um, really become successful, but I feel like this is gonna be a time where with this Knight of Pentacles here that you can really apply all of your skills and strategies to whatever it is. And it's going to be times where you're um, feeling tired and exhausted and you just want to give up. But don't give up. I want to clarify the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, definitely. So you're going to, with this Nine of Wands, I'm pulling the Judgment card. So you have to make a decision. But I feel like this is a, re uh, a rebirth for you too. And making this decision to walk away from what it is that you're wanting to walk away from. Because I feel like some of you are might on the brink of, of leaving. You're right on the edge of something. Or you're right on the edge of an idea that you really want to um, create. You want it to manifest into the physical world. You're going to have to make a decision about this. I feel like it will bring in some sort of rebirth. Re rebirth <laughs> excuse me. And some sort of reciprocity for you. Okay? Equal give and exchange. You put the time in, you reap the benefits of it, okay? Which is amazing. So for some of you, make it's making a decision now. Making a decision to let it go, move on, and apply all of your skills to something that you can invest in in the future. That's going to bring you some long-term success. Let's get the overall outcome for you, Libra. What's the overall outcome? All right, I'm going to take both of these. They both came out in reverse, the lover's card and the five of wands, okay? So I feel like there's going to be a battle. There's going to be some conflict. Of course, that's to be expected. And this, I feel like this is some sort of partnership, okay? Maybe for some of you, it's a coming together. And maybe for some of you, it is um, a, like a breakup or some sort of termination of a friendship or some or some sort of relationship for some of you. I feel like maybe for some of you that might be currently in a partnership, maybe it's causing some, some, some confusion, some battling, going back and forth, and this is where this conflict is coming in. And maybe for some of you, this could be in the future. This is the outcome. So I feel like you got you have to find, again, with this energy of the Six of Pentacles, you, got to, you have to find some balance in this if you want this to work, okay? I wanted to clarify this Lover's card in reverse. Why is the Lover's card in reverse? Do I want to take both of these? Let me see. All right. I want to take both. I'm going to take one of these. So with this lover's card, I'm feeling like there could be some disharmony within the relationship. And then this emperor energy comes in and it's like, um, again, setting clear boundaries about what it is that you want. Okay. So maybe there has been some, um, imbalance going on between this relationship, whether it's, you know, in love or a career, some sort of business part. Par uh, partnership, maybe your values aren't aligning. And I feel like with this emperor, it's like, it's the energy of really trying to come in and set some sort of clear direction. You have to take authority. You need to establish some sort of structure within your relationship. Um, this could also be a father energy, um, someone who's older than you, or it could also be your energy if you have fire in your chart. Um, but I feel like it's you're going to have to work something out. It's about setting some sort of boundary, some sort of structure within this relationship. And again, for you, if this is in a relationship in love, or if this is that relationship in a partnership as far as, you know, um, starting a new business venture, you're gonna have to establish some structure right off the bat in order to get the respect that you need in order to see the success that you're looking for within this business, okay? All right, so that is the overall outcome of your energy. I do want to pull an oracle card for you from my chakra oracle set. This is something that you can focus on for the remainder of the month. It will be your focus. It's kind of like your homework for those of you that are up for homework. 
I always love giving homework to my clients. <laughs> All right. I am also going to read you the message from this card as well. Okay, Libra? All right. All right. Spirit, angels, guides of the most high. What message do you have for Libra to focus on for the month? Remainder of the month, August 15th through the 31st. What do we have for you, Libra? I don't know why I'm feeling like the family card is coming out. Uh, oh, <laughs> even better, Libra. <laughs> even better. All right. The sexuality card has come out for you, Libra. Okay, so this is definitely connected to your sacral area. This is about, you know, creativity, tapping into that energy. A lot of times we hold our subconscious thoughts, past lives, things in that sacral area in our womb, especially if you're a woman. We're holding on to these energies in our womb and then we, we create imbalances. So feel really tap it into your sexual energy. That doesn't always mean that you have to have sex, but it's really about being intimate with yourself, bringing in self-love, all of these beautiful things. So let's see what your card says. The number 13, breaking down to a four in numerology. Okay, it's the number 13 there. Structure, stability, foundation, okay? All right, so number 13. Here we go, Libra. Message here, and we are going to close this out for you. Okay, so this card is connecting to openness, sharing, beauty, honor. Embrace the creative fire of your being. Honor the sacred power, openness, and beauty of genuine sensual connection. It's time to express and experience your passions and desires, to honor the power of your sexual energy as a sacred creative life force, not only in your union with another, but also in your life. On a surface level, this card is an invitation to become aware of it, become aware of and communicate your sexual values, needs, and wants with your partner. Talk about what you enjoy. Open the pathway to move beyond fears or restrictions that you each may carry from the past. Honor your true feelings about sex and sexuality. On a deeper level, it is time to raise your awareness of the divine aspects of your own sexual energy. To acknowledge yourself as a sexual being, not as popular culture perceives it, but as a pure expression of creative life force in all aspects of your being. It is time to become comfortable with the unique essence of your physical form, who you are, your coloring and textures, the way you dress, your fragrance and body language. Expand your daily expression of your own inner fire and sexuality. Seek to recognize and feel this divine energy in your intimate partner as well as in, your, as well as in yourself. Acknowledge the beauty in the meeting together of two souls. Feel the energy exchange. Allow the pure love and pleasure of giving and receiving to, in, to envelope you and move through you. Allow yourself to be fully present in that sacred space. Expressing your sexual essence can be innocent and intense, playful and fulfilling, joyfully creative and deeply sacred. Honor the sacred power of your sexual energy in life. That was awesome. I like that. I want to be a Libra today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, Libra, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Thank you for tuning in. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. Shoot me a comment. Would love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. If you're looking for a personal reading, check the description box below and have an amazing, amazing August. And I will see you in September. Many blessings to you, love and light, and see you soon. Bye, Libra.